going on guys, it's Brent031, and this is my good buddy Bruce, and uh, be sure to check out his YouTube channel at Bruce at Camp Armament. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have him out here today. We're doing a very unique video, okay? Uh, we are doing the Soviet-Afghan conflict um, uniforms and some of the camouflage that they utilized uh, during that conflict. So obviously we're not in Afghanistan, all right? <laughs> we're in the, uh, the woods in North Texas. We're in the middle of winter time for us. Um, so, you know, the, the environment right now is a lot of browns and a little bit of greens and grays and whatnot. So as an Afghan vet myself, um, not in the Soviet conflict, obviously, but a uh, U.S. involvement over there, um, I've seen the terrain over in Afghanistan and uh, some parts can correlate to, to a certain extent, okay? Uh, if you go up north, you have really mountainous and uh, vegetated areas up there. Um, so in any event, without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Bruce. He's got a uh, so typical Soviet Afghan uniform, and uh, I'm wearing the uh, the KZS pattern. And we've actually already done a did a video on this, um, but you know this was correct uh, time period camouflage, so that's what I'm wearing. It's hard for me to find a uniform in my size in that. So Bruce, what you got for us, man? Yeah, that's right. I, I've been wanting one of these since I was a kid. Really, you know, the Soviet Afghan War being something that had a big influence on us growing up. And I finally I found a guy that had a set that would fit me. I picked it up. It was brand new, never issued, um, never even worn. It still had the chalk marks where they were sewing the pockets on. So I was very happy to get it and um, wanted to bring it out, show it to you guys today. Uh, see how it performs out in this kind of dry, dead woodland environment. It's that typical kind of mustard brown that you see tons of Soviet gear made in from right. the 19 from World War II in the 1930s right. all the way up until today still. It's just kind of their standard color, like I think we have kind of an OD that's kind of standardized. Anyway, um, yeah, looking forward to bringing it to you. Uh, this is a late war uniform. I say a late war. They, they had different um, variations throughout the years, uh, different models of the uniform, but they were all the same basic color. So at any route, we're gonna get out there and see how it performs. Um, just stay tuned and post in the comments below uh, how well you think it performs. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to leave a comment.
All right, guys, that concludes this camouflage effectiveness video of these uh, Soviet Afghanistan war uniforms and camouflage. Um, so if you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to check out my channel, subscribe. Also check out Bruce at Camp Armament, good buddy of mine. He's got a YouTube channel. Please show him some support. I'm almost at, uh, I'm over, I think, 90,000 subscribers at the time of making this. So please, some of y'all show him some love, all right? Let's bring him up, okay? Uh, but I had a lot of fun doing this. We sure tell had a lot of fun doing the uh, intro. And, uh, you know, I, I think Bruce can agree, like, it's a lot of fun coming out here with these different uniforms and just seeing how they look. I understand it's not the exact environment that they were used in, um, but there are some parallels that you can draw in, in the color scheme is, is pretty similar at times. So um, it's definitely eye-opening to see, you know, solid colors and how well they can perform as opposed to, uh, you know, like camouflage patterns that try to break up the human outline and whatnot. Uh, so Bruce, what you got for us, man? Yeah, you're right. I mean, just think about camouflage in general and how things come full circle. You know, in World War I, the US GIs were wearing a very similar pattern to this. And then by World War II, the Soviets were running this same color scheme. And now we've got the Marine Corps, which is all about Coyote Brown and some other branches too. And it's, is there a big difference between Coyote Brown FDE and this color? Not really. So full circle on camouflage, maybe reinventing the wheel. But uh, yeah, it's, it's still an effective pattern. As you've said before, just as effective as it was when it was initially designed right, right, and deployed. Yeah, yeah. And you can just imagine that out in a desert environment, something like this would just be ideal, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I actually, I said something to Bruce out there when he's walking around. I was like, I was like, damn, that looks just like Coyote. Like, you know, the same color that all, all our gear is in the Marine Corps. But uh, in any event, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for uh, tuning in and I hope you comment. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and again, show my buddy Bruce some love here and go over to his channel and check it out. He's got a lot of videos coming down the pipe. So, thanks for watching guys.